And I'm not in the point I live, eat, breathe, and think it, you know? Everybody know it's foes up with me, you know? We the ones that push this shit, man. We the ones that put this joint on the map, you know? But me and my niggas, you know, we keep it pushing and stuff. But let me get back to, you know, growing up in my household, man, you know, I, w I was kind of raised by a stepfather to where he was kind of really, he kind of mashed on you, you know what I'm saying? But I think everybody went through that one time or another, but it made me who I am. I can say this about him, at least he was the only male figure that I ever known that was there, you know? So I did have some good times going over to the Central, you know, going, you know, doing things like being in the Dennis Johnson basketball camp, you know, me and my brothers. We used to go over there by Duce, you know, where my grandma stayed right over there in the back of the uh, uh, the park where the old, the old tavern used to be called Cherry Tree Tavern. And it was the Wonder Bread right down the street, you know, cats like Ed Motley, you know, and Vitamin T, the international pimp. Everybody know him from the town, man. Rest in peace, they got killed, man. Used to ride over there and be on their bikes and shit like that. But, you know, it gave me, you know, a sense of, you know, belonging and stuff like that for that brief moment, you know. Yeah. Other than that, you know, all I know is my mama. Everything that makes me and that breaks me, you know what I'm saying, is what I know growing up in the hood, raised by a female, you know. So I learned how to cook, I learned how to clean, you know, I learned how to have a lot of common sense about myself from my mama, man. She was my only hero, you know. I grew up in a family of six. I got three, um, three sisters and three brothers, you know. Um, me, myself, I got two granddaughters, you know. And me and my daughters, you know, we not really seeing eye to eye, but they my babies, you know, they my heart, you know. But I really be out here, man, on some self-destruction shit, you know, when I'm out here caught up in the old biggie, you know. So I really be in, involved in this shit like that, you know. If anybody knows me, they know how I get out. You know, I, all I know is from one to 10, man. I don't know no in between, you know. And when I'm dealing with my niggas and shit, it's hard for me to communicate with them too because I kind of kind of watch myself because I don't want them to misunderstand my aggression, the way I talk as me, you know, getting at them like that, but that's just me, you know. It saved me. I had to go through a lot of shit, a lot of hell holes, a lot of hate and shit when I was away from the town, you know. But I repped this shit. I repped these four foes, you know what I'm saying? I put this shit, you know, statewide, and I fuck with nothing but real niggas. I don't fuck with suckers or busters. I don't fuck with snitches, you know. That's just me, even in my regular life. You do what you do, but, you know, I stick to the code, man. All you have is your word when you're out here, you know, and you're dealing with your homeboys. But, you know, just growing up out here, man, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, that we used to experience, you know, as, as young cats growing up and stuff. And, and we can all agree on that, you know, being back in the back of the gym, you know, doing the free lunch, and we all grew up on that food bank that was up over there, you know, because that's all we knew out here, but we never complained about it, you know, it is what it is, you know, and like I see a lot of my young brothers and sisters that grew up in the community, a lot of us is doing good, you know, so we're at the point to where we want to really focus on, you know, giving back to the community and, and just really being the asset, you know. You got down the street, there's a car wash over there where we really kicked it out a lot. You know, we sold a lot of dope. Right here, right here, this is the cut right here, man. I used to really whip and dip over here, man. This was one of my little, you know, obstacles I used to take the police on. I used to go to the cut right here. I hopped that fence over there and bend the corner through the old folks' home and then hit the fence over there. I'd take their ass to an obstacle course, man, fucking with me. You know, I wasn't playing about being out here and they wasn't gonna stop me from eating and feeding my family. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, you never let a man stop you from eating. Man, woman, or child, you know. So you gotta do what you gotta do. And when you out here, make it be about something. Me, it was feeding my family and watching out for my loved ones and my, my little dudes and stuff, you know. Growing, out, growing up out here, I got a lot of young comrades that came up out here with me that was real young when they was coming up. But a lot of parents and stuff, they really didn't like them being around me because of what I did and how I was. But I wasn't really like causing havoc on the community. I was just doing me and trying to protect myself. But at the same time, they just happened to be around. So I didn't want to give them no bad advice, you know. I didn't let them outside to play. I didn't tell them when to come in and give them curfew. But I'm not going to let them be out here and get heart hurt and get harmed while I'm out here, you know. So I showed them love and I gave them the tools, what they need, you know. And then a lot of them to, to this day, you know, they're on the right track and they're doing real good, man. They got families and shit and they're really sitting real nice right now. 
and I'm not bragging about showing them the wrong way, but at the same time, they was able to survive this shit, man. This faux faux life, and everybody know, even the best of us take falls, you know. I got homeboys that stayed on the right track, but they got caught up in it with us, you know. And I had to help guide them through the system because they didn't know what it was. It was all new to them, you know. I had to let them know it's gonna be all right, you feel me, you know. So that was a part of, you know, that I didn't really like, but at the same time, you know, it helped build our bond because we walked through this together. I watched a lot of them get back on track and do their thing, you know. And some homies ain't really speaking now, but I just say that we just growing, you know. We growing, but I like to touch bases and be back out here and feel the streets and feel the ground and fuck with my young cats, man. You know, because I really want to say what's happening there. I'm, a, I'm the type of nigga, I'm going to hop out and fuck with you, you know. That's just me, man. And I'm international, too, because I'll pop up out of this joint, man. I'm one of the one homies that be like, fuck it, man. I'm on some hood shit, and I fuck with a lot of other hoods and shit all over this motherfucker, all over Washington, to my liking, you know, to what I want to do, you know. But, yeah, this is the high point in life, man. This is that faux faux, and it's got a lot to do with a lot of people. It's not just about B.I.G., you know. I'm just one of the main characters that's in it. But we a whole family. We got a lot of love and a lot of people spread out in a lot of different areas. And we still stay in contact to this day, you know. I'm talking about people that I grew up in Rock Bottom, Small, the Treetop Tall. You know, we old and great, and we still communicate and we still function together, you know. We still, you know, unite when it's something that has something to do with one of us, you know, when it's on some, uh, Somebody passing away or somebody just needs somebody to holler at or some of your loved ones might be going through something, man. So we a community, community, man. We ain't just about on no gang shit, you know. You got hitters that's in there, you know, but what hood doesn't, you feel me? You know, we just gotta have niggas out here, you know, that help down the block, man, just like every other hood, you know. And you gotta keep that going, man. You gotta keep cats out here that's relevant, man to weed, weed and seed out these suckers, man, and all these funny motherfuckers that'll taint your soil, man, you know? And you don't want that, man. You got too many people as a community, you know, as anything else, because a lot of motherfuckers know that you done came out here and functioned with us, and you from all over the map, you know? But when you get down with us, you know, you family, you know? We gonna rock with you, you know what I'm saying? You might not be an original folk folk, we, we, we gonna give you a folk folk pass, you know? Because you show love with us, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it's about out here, you know, we're a community and we really trying to, you know, let cats know that we bigger than all that. These niggas. I went from running from task force to making my task work. I couldn't stack a dollar invested in bad work. She smell good, that's bad body and bad work. These niggas bite their hands that feed them, they got some dead nerves. Went from the curb to the trap, from the trap to the booth, from the booth to my boo. Yeah, I'm living good.